All right, guys, we'll be talking about the peanut lighters available at countycom.com. Uh, fantastic lighters, very popular. I'm sure they're a great seller. Um, everyone, everyone I know has them. They love them. Uh, I love mine. Actually, just got two new ones today. Um, this one is the new and improved stainless steel version, and this is the tiny cut down uh, split P, which is identical to the stainless steel version, just half the size. Uh, the one only on the left here is actually the original. I've had this for a while now. Um, absolutely love it. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. But these other ones are uh, new and improved. And I'll show you that in this video. Uh, first, let me talk about the lighter itself. It's a, um, a screw construction. So you have a cap, you have an insert, and you have a base. Okay, basically you put your insert inside, and then the cap just screws on. They all have, all the models have an O-ring, okay, which makes this airtight and waterproof. Uh, if you go over to County Com's page here on YouTube, just do a search for County Com. It's spelled C-O-U-N-T-Y-C-O-M-M. -M. Uh, they have plenty of videos on all the different products, um, but they have uh, an older video. If you look back to their older videos, they have a, a little demo where they put this uh, submersion in water. So to show, you know, that it can be uh, submersed in water, and uh, it is waterproof. And then they pop it out, and they open it up and light it up. Um, they are waterproof. They're pretty much all-weather lighters. Uh, I've uh, actually lost this lighter uh, in my yard <laughs> a couple weeks later. This was um, probably, uh, I don't remember the time frame. This is a couple months back, but uh, it actually fell off my keys because I, had, I was using a different attachment method besides this um, the split ring that you get with it. It actually fell off, and it was in my driveway. And I found it maybe three weeks later, and it's been rained on and caked with mud. And to my surprise, I opened it up, and it, it lit on the first try. Um, they really are reliable lighters. One, one big advantage you have with these lighters over, say, Zippos, is that because they're airtight and because they have the O-ring, um, they do not lose their fuel. You can, you can fill this with fuel. You can put it in a bag, put it in your backpack, leave it in your car. And, you know, a year down the road, you can open it up, and it'll work. Okay, what, what happens with Zippos is because they're not airproof, um, they're not airtight or sealed, uh, the vapors of the fuel slowly leak out. And what happens is your, your insert dries up and you have no fuel left. Um, so this is a huge, huge bonus. Besides being more compact than a Zippo, um, it just it has a lot of great benefits such as those. Uh, you can, you know, use this um, when it's submerged in water. You know, if you, like you said, you know, maybe you're hiking, you drop it in a puddle, not a problem. You take it out of the pile, you put it back in your pocket. <laughs> um, you know, they, they, just, they just work. They work all the time. Uh, the insert works exactly on the same principle as the Zippo lighter, where you have a tube here. Uh, the inside is filled with a uh, cotton, and that's what uh, holds your fuel. You just, uh, you know, you can use any old fluid. It doesn't matter. Uh, with Zippo lighters and these lighters, people ask me all the time, you know, can I use this, can I use that? There's probably 20 or 30 different kinds of fuel that will actually work in these, including gasoline. Um, but they're not recommended. They're not as safe to use, and they're not as clean burning. So they're not suggested. I mean, in an emergency type situation, of course, you can use tons of crap. Uh, you can, you know, attach a string to this, dunk it in your gas tank in your car, uh, and it'll work. But um, for normal use, just use lighter fluid. It doesn't matter what brand, but just lighter fluid. Okay, not charcoal fluid. Not anything else, okay? I, like I said, unless you're in an emergency situation. Um, but anyway, regular lighter fluid, and the cotton soaks that up. You have a tube here, which you can't see because it's kind of hidden, but it's underneath the screw. It's a brass tube that holds a uh, um, spring. And on top of the spring is your flint, and the spring is putting pressure from the flint onto the bottom of the, the uh, wheel here. So when you turn the wheel, it sparks the flint. The sparks hit the wick, which is soaked with fluid, and, of course, lights. And then you have fire. Whew. You just blow it out. You heard me there. I just uh, blew on it, and it, it goes right out. <sighs> or, uh, let's say you're done with it. You just take your lid and just put your lid on top, and it will uh, also extinguish the fire. Um, they And as you can see, they are reliable every time, first strike. Um, <sighs> another downside to Zippos and those type of lighters is that oftentimes, well, specifically Zippos, they have a chimney, um, which is a metal guarding area. That's really there for, uh, for wind, to kind of protect the, uh, the uh, flame from wind, to make it more windproof. Uh, the one downside to these, as you can see, if I do blow into it, I mean, it doesn't take much to, to put it out. It's not a problem, because you can always just relight it. 
Um, but the advantage of not having something surrounding there is that it will light every time. And the reason that sometimes um, Zippos won't light on the first try, you know, you have to take two, three, four times, is because, uh, because it has that chimney there, the fuel vapors build up. And what happens is you don't have any oxygen there. And obviously you need oxygen for fire. So uh, what I always suggest with Zippos is that when you first open it, just you know, blow into it a little bit and um, you'll get some oxygen moving. Um, with these, because it is open like this, you don't have that problem. The vapors don't build up. I mean, the second you take your cap off, you introduce a bunch of oxygen all around the wick. So every time you spark that, it lights up, making it more reliable. Another obvious, obvious benefit, besides what I've talked about so far, being waterproof and airtight and uh, very reliable, is it is extremely compact, as you can see. Um, the one on the left here that I'm, I've been showing you is the original. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. This is the new stainless steel version. I'll talk about the differences in just a minute, and this is the uh, newest one to the family, the Split P, which is just a tiny little thing. Uh, perfect, perfect for your keys. I mean, these are small enough for your keys without a problem. This is even better. Um, let me give you some measurements real quick. I have a ruler here. Uh, the original, and I'm going from the very base to the very top of the stem. The stem on top is uh, where they have the hole here, so you can attach it. They do all come with a split ring, as you can see here, so you can pop these on your keys if you wish. Uh, the original is exactly two inches long. The uh, newer stainless steel version is just a hair underneath uh, two inches. So just a tiny bit under two inches. And then the new split P, little tiny thing, is only uh, one and a quarter inches long. So one and one fourth inches long. So tiny little guy. Um, the one downside, obviously, uh, is that you're going to have uh, less fuel in the uh, the cut version, but that should be obvious. I mean, it's literally half the size, so if you have the um, the, the full size versions, whatever you know, however long your fluid lasts, it just uh, predict it's going to be half as long with the uh, the split P. But again, you know, huge bonus on the compact size there. Perfect for your keys. Absolutely perfect. Um, so let's talk about the differences between the original and the new upgraded stainless steel version. We put the split P to the side for a second. Uh, first thing you, know, you might notice, I'm not sure if the video is going to pick it up quite as well, but the uh, stainless steel is a brushed stainless steel, okay? And the finish on this one is actually chrome. So it's shinier, uh, glossier, catches the light more. It's going to be very hard to tell probably from the video, but in person you can definitely tell the difference when they're side by side. Uh, reason being is that this one here, the original, uh, is actually copper. It's copper, you can see there, the uh, orangey red tinge, that's actually chrome plated. Now this, this is extremely strong. I mean, I, you know, I've dropped this dozens of times, and it's a couple scratches, but no dents. Hasn't affected how it works. Um, and in, in fact, in the future, I might actually do some demos where, uh, you know, I'll totally beat on these things and uh, <laughs> try to get them to fail. But anyway, that's for a future video. Uh, but even if you dented this pretty good, it's still going to work fine. It's not going to affect how it works. As long as your, your seal up here still stays tight, it's still going to be waterproof and airproof and all that. Um, but yeah, the originals are copper that's chrome plated. Even though they're very, very strong and nothing wrong with them, the new and improved stainless steel versions are just that. They are solid stainless steel. I mean, super duper strong. You can see there. It's just it's a solid piece of stainless steel. Um, so that's one one uh, upgrade to them. The second upgrade to them is that the original actually could not stand on its end because they have a rounded bottom. I mean, unless you stuck this in the mud, uh, you have to kind of hold it, okay, to use it. Uh, very simplistic upgrade, but they put a flat bottom on the stainless ones, which is an upgrade. So these can be uh, used hands-free. Let's say you need to use both your hands to do something with the, you know, while your, uh, your lighter's lit there. You have the option to do so. Uh, maybe with fire making, you know, you want to just rest your lighter on the ground or on a table, whatever, um, and now you have both hands to work with. So very simplistic uh, upgrade, but definitely love it, and it is an upgrade, um, a little bit better than the original. Same deal with the split P. This is identical to this lighter, again, just cut down. It's a shorter size. Same, same insert, same everything, just smaller. And same reliability. It's going to light for you every time you need to light it. Now, um, this one, the original, is uh, well used. Well used, and it was actually dried out. I just filled it. Um, this one's not filled. It's brand new. This one, I just put a little bit of fluid in. 
um, just for you know a test run but it does need a little bit more fuel it's actually surprising because it's so small you don't think it's going to hold much but it holds a little bit more than you're, you might you might think when you first uh, put it in there but anyway again you can hand totally hands free you know you, you can use both hands now if you need to with the lighter just perfect um, I can't really say enough about these lighters they are just totally awesome um, as you can see here I own three of them but I'll probably uh, I'll probably buy some more because uh, they're just they're that good I want backups because I don't know how you know how available these are going to be in the future um, let's talk a little bit about price now you might think well you know these might be a little bit expensive especially the stainless steel ones and they're actually they're not they're very affordable the original is only five dollars okay because you have the upgrade in the stainless steel um, better quality a little bit you know more innovative because of the you know flat bottom definitely a little stronger um, these are eleven dollars which I still think are well worth the money um, actually both the split P and the full size are both eleven dollars um, so you know if you're making an order over at County Com, you know check them out you might want to pick one up uh, it would definitely behoove you to uh, to make one big order uh, currently they only use UPS shipping so shipping's uh, I think it's around eight dollars for a couple items I think maybe a little bit more if you uh, get some bigger items um, you know once you do your checkout you'll see what the shipping is but uh, I've always liked to get larger uh, items so that it, you know the shipping is definitely worth it uh, it's hard when you want to just buy one item but you know it's not a big deal it there's so much stuff on their site you know that, that you loved and I'm sure you'd want to pick up uh, it's very easy to find four or five even six things to, to add to your list um, very affordable stuff over there just I love it I'm a huge fan as you guys know uh, I have almost almost everything they offer uh, and I use almost all of it so anyway these are just fantastic lighters most of you guys already know about these lighters there's not a whole lot to say um, you know as far as uh, maintenance real quick again to fill these very simple you just pour your fluid in the bottom just like you would a, a Zippo lighter um, let me show you how to actually take the flint out Again, same deal as a Zippo lighter, but I have a screwdriver here, so I might as well show you. You have a flathead screw. You're going to just uh, unscrew that. Now, put your fingers over here a little bit so that once it's, uh, once it's unscrewed, it doesn't fly across the room because it is under uh, spring tension. Okay, so now you have your, your screw. And these are very small parts, so you know, try not to lose them. Push the, uh, the uh, cotton down a little bit. Here's your spring. Okay. And then you have your flint. Very simple, standard flint. Uh, you know, they'll all work. Doesn't matter what brand. Um, when you put a new flint in, little tip. Once you get your new flint in, let's. I'm going to use the flat side here. Okay, that's not been used. What you want to do is once you put your new flint in, like I said, it's going to be flat on the end. So a little, I'll give you a little tip here. Once I get this in. Okay, the flint's in. Put your spring back in. Okay, and put your little screw back in. Now, there's a little there's a little tiny nib on here, so it fits in the spring, which makes things a lot easier on your life. Um, and then just you could turn this with your thumb a little bit to kind of get it started. And it is very small, so it might take a little bit, but once you get that started, you can use your your screwdriver here to finish it up and tighten it down. Okay, you get a better grip on this. So you just want to tighten that down all the way. And once that's nice and tight, you can put this back in your um, your uh, insert on the bottom here. Make sure your O-ring is on there properly. All right, so what I would do is when I first put the new flint in, I would rotate the wheel forward. Okay, a couple turns, and what that'll actually do is it'll cut a little bit of a groove into the uh, the flat side. Okay, so that when you go to spark it. It won't give you a problem. It'll spark up right away. So, just a little tip for when you're changing the uh, the flint out. Very simplistic, and again, you can fill these things and throw them into a bag. You know, leave them in your car, and they'll, they'll last. You know, you don't have to worry about it. You know, like with a Zippo, if you find an old Zippo, you open it up. There's a really good chance that it's not going to light because all the fuel kind of dried up on you. Uh, it's not going to happen with these. So, definite benefit. Uh, once again, five dollars for the original, eleven dollars for the new stainless steel versions. And they are available at countycom.com. Uh, I thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys have a chance to pick these items up. They're just, they're cool. Alright guys, take care. Thanks for watching.